How safe are you inside your own home tonight? Well, a tree crashing feet away from a woman in Sefner is exposing serious concerns. Some people in Sefner say they've been living in danger for months and nothing is being done to help them. ABC Action News reporter Clifton French is taking action for you to get some answers. Clifton? Yeah, we discovered 128 total complaints filed against the management company here uh, with code enforcement. 83 of those having to do with trees just like this one that put two families out of their homes. That will fall on my house. Forced to leave her home on Friday when this branch smashed into her neighbor's house. On Monday, an orange note is still on Kelly Cattell's door. Condemned because of concerns the rest of this tree will come down on her house. I want back in my house. Kelly says this mess is no surprise. This is the third time a branch from this tree has fallen on this home. And according to the Homeowner Association president, several complaints have already been filed. There have been several complaints of management by uh, not only this homeowner, but the previous homeowner. HOA president Tom Adams says they've been fighting the management company, Cypress Investors, for years, all about trees throughout this mobile home park. At least 13 that I, I could probably name have been destroyed or badly damaged by trees. And they're just not stepping up to the plate and putting back the money that they should in order to maintain safety. We did some digging and found code enforcement has received 83 complaints about trees in this neighborhood in the past 10 years. We think it would be more. A tree fell into Mary Newton's home less than a year ago. She also filed several complaints and is now suing. I believe they were neglectful in taking care of the trees. Kelly says she hopes what's happened to her neighbors won't happen here. I just went back in my house and at least I have a house to come back to. Now, I have called the management company Cypress Investors several times. None of our messages have been returned. But what neighbors tell me is that the, major or the remaining part of this tree that is still up is going to be cut down sometime tomorrow morning. I'm reporting live in Sefner, Clifton French, ABC Action News.